In Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope, the character of Wedge Antilles was played by Dennis Lawson, and Colin Higgins, and technically David Ankrum, who overdubbed both Higgins and Lawson. That's right, three separate actors played the fan-favorite character. Today I wanted to explore the development of the character and find out what happened to Wedge. When we first see the character in the film, we're in the Rebel briefing room preparing for the Battle of Yavin. Colin Higgins sits next to Luke and claims that hitting the thermal exhaust port would be impossible even for a computer. The next time we see Wedge, the Battle of Yavin is underway and Dennis Lawson sits in the pilot seat. Higgins was apparently a television actor that was used to having extensive rehearsal periods before shooting scenes, so he had not memorized his lines for the briefing room. Even according to the screenplay, he only had one line which he struggled through and then was promptly fired. Dennis Lawson was brought in to replace him even though he was initially denied the role in favor of Higgins. After all the scenes were shot, voice actor David Ankrum was brought in to overdub both Higgins and Lawson, making a total of three actors that contributed to the same character in the same film. Dennis Lawson, of course, continued to play the role in The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi without any help. Many fans hoped to see the character appear in Rogue One, a Star Wars story, and while he wasn't seen on screen, he was present at the Yavin base. David Ankrum reprised his role as Wedge yet again and can be heard directing pilots to Scarif over the intercom. I couldn't find any specific information on why Ankrum was brought on for Wedge's voice in A New Hope, but from what I can tell, most of the actors playing the pilots of Red and Gold Squadrons were British, and they were dubbed over with American voice actors in post-production. Lawson was famously offered a part in The Force Awakens, which he turned down because he claimed the role would bore him. However, he later appeared at Star Wars Celebration in 2017, prompting rumors that he may have changed his tune and accepted a role in The Last Jedi. But while that is possible, it's nothing more than a rumor. While we're discussing the various actors that played Wedge, I feel like I should also mention Nathan Kress, who began providing the voice for Antilles in Star Wars Rebels Season 3, as well as the LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens game. And finally, I found one more interesting fact about the creation of Wedge. In the early drafts of the script, the character of a young pilot was named Chewie. That nickname was later given to Chewbacca, and the character that had once been Chewie was changed to Wedge. That's it for today. What do you think of Wedge's confusing development? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.